yeah kiki somebody can just reply with the same house <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel Esther Gala here if you're new welcome to the family please and please ensure that you subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back guys today I'll be sharing my reasons for choosing the University of Hull a lot of you have followed my journey down here to the UK and some of you you know feels like you already know the process I mean so it's only nice for me to share these reasons to inspire someone or help someone evaluate better to make the right decision so if you intend to come to the university in 2023 in January or September or you even know someone who intends to you want to stick to this video till the end because there'll be tips you need to build and you know that it's a period <laughs> a little background about the University of Hull the University of Hull is the 14th oldest universities in England formed in 1927 the University of Hull holds a very proud history in academic excellence i guess that's why its motto is la panda ferenc which means carrying the light of a learning with a background on this i guess it's time for me to move into the reasons why i chose the university of hall to study mind you i've chosen three universities coventry university in coventry teesside university in middlesbrough and the University of Hull in Hull City. I had offer letters for three of them, but I had to settle with the University of Hull after going through these different reasons that I'll be stating out shortly. My first reason is the overall ranking and reputation. When I checked, the university ranked 69th in the Times University grade for 2023 and he also ranked 59th in the Guardian University Guide for 2023. I mean, to me, this was a good reason you know, to put the university aside to consider. The second was cultural diversity. I mean, just knowing that the university is situated in a city that appreciates cultural diversity. Google Place actually helped me here because I could see that they were different you know cuisines sorry i had to find out food because <laughs> i had heard too many stories of how you know you'll not find your your nigerian food in you know the uk and stuff like that so i had to make sure that oh there were restaurants that serve something that i like to eat or i could you know try to eat or if possible my cuisine so yeah i checked and i found out that you know there are a lot of people here um with different nationalities you know i saw that they were Kyrgyzstans, they were people from kuwait they were algerians tunisians middle east african europeans think of it everybody you can just be walking on the road and you know yeah you're, you're making a call speaking your dialect you know ah shocker someone can just reply with the same dialect you know that's how whole city is you'll find nigerians here so please if you're looking for any city that has rep of countries or rep of nationalities you know especially nigerians africans you see them in here so you are very much welcome just makes you feel home away from home and the fact that you know the school was situated in a place that had nice big shopping malls that you didn't have to go for you know like st stevie prince quay and the rest of them plus adventurous places like the deep which is um very popular in the whole um uk a lot of people always want to come and see the deep i mean you have it in your zone i love sightseeing and things like that really interest me plus the humber bridge the very popular humber bridge you know is in hall those kind of things make me feel like oh yeah this is not going to be giving me village vibes activities i would say that's one thing that university of hall also had you don't have to be who you're not to fit in you know activities to fit 
your personality is available so we have from like asylum which is like the club every friday night club to quiz club to karaoke in swaz bars you know there's a lot of things to fit your personality it kind of like makes student life interesting another thing would be the alumni I mean, I'd finished from the prestigious Ahmed Bello University, Zaria, and I wasn't ready to drop the bar, so I wanted a school that had a very strong alumni, you know, that I could identify with. And to find that out, Pastor Itwa Igadalo finished from the University of Hall was a good thing for me too and also Mukhtar Kent who is the CEO of the Coca-Cola company was also a plus and I'm like you know University of Hall come to the front <laughs> the thing that also stood out for me was the facilities the school had you know a good library just having a virtual tour of the school made me feel like no this is where i want to be i could see the library i could see how they were arranged like the first floor belongs to engineering second floor belongs to another you know onto the seventh floor every department owned a portion or a space in the library however you know you could change and go anywhere we also had gym which i think was also a good thing with a very low subscription we also had a lot of cafeterias like anywhere you go they're going to be same food i don't know why i'm saying food too much but <laughs> you'd also consider that one too that's it for this video i'll see you in my next one until then keep on being amazing